Hello, in this video I'm going to show how the Eldery tool suite can be used in order to be able to test code that's written for the Cisco Pike OS. Now, the starting point is the IDE, which is Codeo. And inside Codeo, I've created a number of projects. The first project I've created is an integration project. And what I'm doing is I haven't got a target. So I'm going to use the ARM V8 HF QMU. And I'm going to create, or I've created this particular project here, this application project. And inside there, I've written some simple C code. And this C code, I want to do two things with it. First of all, I want to check, is it compliant to Misra C 2025? And then secondly, I want to perform some unit tests on this code and check, does it do what it's supposed to do? And then secondly, to measure the structural coverage and ensure I've got 100% coverage. Now, there are a couple of ways in which we can justify violations. I could put a, a comment into the code, and this is what I've done in this particular case, and there I've got my justification text. Alternatively, I could put a justification into an external INI file, and that's what I've done here as well. Of course, ideally, I should correct the any violations rather than just fixing them. Now, okay, what I've done is I've created a number of test cases and I want to be able to execute these and I've got a batch file that I've already run that's going to perform the static analysis and unit tests. So I've executed that. Let's go and take a look at the results. So here we've got TB reports and inside TB reports I can see I've opened the project that I've got here and I could generate various different reports, such as a, a MISRA C 2025 or a DO 178C level A report. But in this particular case, I'm just going to go and select all the kinds of reports we can generate here, and I'm just going to generate them. So I just need to wait for that to go and generate the reports. And now we're going to be able to take a look. And first of all, we can see there's my application project and it's not compliant to MISRA. I can see I've got uh, some violations, but the quality of the code is good. OK, well, let's take a look at the uh, guideline compliance summary. And as we can see, we're not compliant against MISRA C 2025. If we scroll down, we can see we have some advisory violations. If we scroll down again, we're going to come across more violations. And we can see these are color coded depending if they're advisory or red if they're required. Now, let's take a look at the standard models exclusions. And inside here, we can see there were some violations that I've justified. And as I've mentioned, I've justified them in two ways. These are coming from the external any file. And this is the comment we looked at inside the code. So very important to be able to see all the places where we have uh, effectively excluded violations. If I want, we could take a look at the annotated code. So if we take a look at the code. We can see all the places where the violations occur, and these are going to be very easy to, to fix. OK, what about the, uh, the testing? Well, here we've got the unit module tests. So we can see that I've executed all my tests here. I've run them on the QEMU. So I have measured the worst case execution time but it's not really relevant when I'm running on the on the simulator. Really need to do that on a multi-core device. But let's take a look at this unit test here, testing that function integer to ASCII. We can see we've got seven different test cases. We can take a look at one of these test cases and we can see all the inputs and we can see as well all the outputs and the actual value is the same as the expected value. So the code is doing what it's supposed to do. At the same time, we can now take a look at the code coverage. So there we can see that I've got my 100% statement coverage, 100% branch decision coverage, as well as 100% MCDC on this simple code. And we can scroll down. We can get uh, more information about this. If we go into the function into to ASCII, we can see line by line that we've got full coverage. If you haven't, it would have been highlighted here in red. OK, so if you need more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.